In this video, we'll break down the three music video effects in Final Cut Pro. Now, some of these effects will require plugins. However, some of these effects are completely free. You don't need any plugins to create them. The first effect is this really cool, like, clone effect. So I have this clip right here. So the first clip, and then here is the second clip. Now, I want to kind of transition the second clip by adding a couple of clones. So basically, I have a couple, like, clones appearing on the screen, then have this entire clip playing. So what you can see, I just have markers. So just keep things... Every to keep everything organized. Now to create a marker, all you have to do is just take your playhead and just press M on your keyboard to create a marker. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this clip. Now you could use like freeze frames and a draw mask, but in this case, we're gonna kind of like rotoscope the subject. So head over here to the effects panel, open it up, and you will scroll down until you find the category mass and keying. And what you wanna do is you want to apply the magnetic mask onto your clip. Now this is basically rotoscoping in Final Cut. Now what we can do is just simply select on the subject. As you can see, Final Cut did a pretty good job. Now we can head over here and zoom to like 150%. Now I'm not gonna do a perfect job because just for the sake of the tutorial, but so I'll, I'll kind of rush it a little bit, but you're gonna get a good, a good idea of what I'm trying to do. Now as you can see, see how it's kind of like red on red. It's kind of hard to see what we're actually doing. So let's head over here to the color and let's change the color to maybe more like something like a green. That way it's just kind of easier to see what we're doing. And again, I'm gonna rush through this a little bit because you know, it, it definitely takes a little bit of time to really like fine tune it. What you would do is basically just you're going between the plus tool and the subtraction tool. So as you can see, we'll go with the plus tool right here. We're going to go ahead and add some more to the mass right here. Head over here to the subtraction tool. As you can see, Final Cut is doing a pretty good job. There you go. I, I think that looks pretty decent. We can go ahead and maybe select in here. Something like this. It's got all personal preference. Actually, let's undo that because I think that looked pretty good. So again, you see, you're just kind of going through maybe like the plus tool add a little more to the mask here. Again, it's kind of like Final Cut, trying, Final Cut trying to guess what you're trying to do, so it's not always gonna be perfect, but let's say we wanna subtract a little bit of here, that kind of, you know, adjust the mask. And I think overall that's pretty good. Maybe let's go back to the plus tool. And I think, actually, if I look over it again, see uh, Final Cut did a pretty good job. Again, it's not gonna be completely perfect, so you definitely wanna take your time. But I think overall, just doing a very quick selection, Final Cut did a pretty good job. So let's head over here, go back to fit, and what you want to do is you want to click on Analyze, and now Final Cut, as you can see, it's basically it's using AI to cut out the subject. Now we can just do is click on Done right here, and I think overall Final Cut, as you see, it's not completely perfect, but I think overall Final Cut did a pretty good job of cutting out the subject. Now you can also adjust the feather too if you if you want to kind of like, you know, make the edges look a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is in this case we'll right click and then we'll just hide the magnetic mask editor just because it's just gonna keep things a lot more organized. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clip, we're gonna go ahead and just drag it above and we're gonna select right here. We're gonna, we basically wanna line up these markers. Now in this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna select, we're gonna select on this clip and let's just go ahead and let's, let's go ahead and just blade the clip right here. So we're gonna go ahead and blade this clip and then we're gonna bring this back down here. And then what we're gonna do in this clip is we're just gonna simply delete the magnetic mask because now we just want the normal clip um, playing. What you want to do is you want to select on this clip and let's say we want to adjust it. Let's take the X position and go something like 800 so we can move the subject over. So you can see it's kind of starting off like this. Now let's go in this case we're going to go forward like five frames. Select on this and now let's go ahead and just simply hold down the option key and duplicate uh, this clip. Now what you want to do is let's go ahead and just um, trim it right here because you want to start right here. Now actually, let's actually drag this out, something like here, and we want to drag this clip out here just to kind of kind of create like that stacking transition. Now what you want to do is you want to select on this clip and let's do something like 400. So we want to adjust the X position to 400. So as you can keep, as you see, it's kind of like stacking on top of each other. So let's kind of get an idea of what that looks like. So you go ahead and head over here. So here's the first clone that's playing. So one, two, three, four. So four frames and then one, two, three, four. And now it plays here. One, two, three. And as you see, see how it kind of disappears. So if I go through it again, kind of frame by frame, as you can see, it's just a normal clip. Uh, the first clone appears, as you can see, now another clone appears, and then it goes back to the normal video. As you can see, now the clones are just slowly disappearing, and now you have created this really cool transition. So now if I play in real time, this is what the clip looks like. 
you just have this really cool like clone transition. I just think this is such a really cool and such a unique effect. Now the next effect I'm gonna go over is this really cool like Polaroid effect. So what you wanna do is head over here to your titles and generators and you wanna purchase my bundle, the creator bundle, which is for sale on my website. The link will be down in the description below. Now you don't necessarily have to purchase this to get the Polaroid frame. You could purchase or you could go ahead and go online and find a free Polaroid frame if you want to. But in this case, this is, this is kind of like a lot easier to use than just getting like a free PNG image. So if I select it onto this actual clip, I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, it already has a drop zone. So let's maybe like trim the Polaroid something like here. We can just trim this. Now why this is a little bit better than just getting a free like Polaroid online is if we select on this, head over here, as you can see you have a drop zone and then you can adjust the image. So if you use like a free image, you're gonna have to actually like place the image underneath and then crop the image and then create a compound clip, which again, you can 100% do, but this is just makes everything a lot more easier. So if I head over here, I'll show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and find an image we wanna use. So let's say we wanna use one of these um, images. So let's do like photo one or photo two. Now select this title layer, Head over here, make sure you're selected on this icon. All you do is simply click on the drop zone, select the photo, click apply, and there you go, just as simple as that. Now we can go through and actually select and adjust the photo. So as you can see, this is just a lot easier. Now we can adjust the scale. We could also maybe adjust the rotation and scale it down a little bit. So you can see, it's just like a lot more customizable than just getting like a free PNG um, overlay. But again, if you don't want to purchase the pack, you could definitely go ahead and do that. So once we have it kind of like in the area we want, what we're gonna do is we'll select on this and click on Option G. We're gonna go ahead and type in like fr uh, frame and click return. Basically what we're doing is we're creating a actual like a compound clip. Now what you want to do is you want to select on this effects panel and what you want to do is now you want to purchase another pack that I have, the animation preset. So if I select on animation preset, so select on right here, now what you want to do is I want to apply the scale in preset. So if I apply this scale in preset to the compound clip, as you can see, you have this really cool animation. Now if we go ahead and take the ramp cycles and let's turn this down to something like 18, you're gonna have a little bit of a faster animation and you can also adjust the other settings too. So if I go ahead and play right here, as you can see, see how this is really cool like bounce animation? See how the Polaroid frame just kinda like bounces up and also it has motion blur applied to it. So as you can see, you create this really cool animation. So again, if we go play right here, this really cool bounce animation. Now what you wanna do is you wanna select this compound clip again and create another compound clip. So click on option G and we'll type in frame and then like something like with scale. So with the scale animation and you wanna create another compound clip. And basically what you can do is now you can actually adjust the actual Polaroid because for some reason the scale animation, it only kinda of scales in from the center. So you wanna kinda of have your actual like frames or whatever centered first, apply the scale animation, then create a compound clip. So now as you can see, now I can take the position and move it over and the scale is gonna come right here. If I didn't do that, if I didn't create the compound clip it, and you move the position, it would stay here, but it would actually scale in from the center and move over here. This is by doing it, this Way, it just makes it a lot more customizable. So if I play it right here, as you can see, now it's scaling in from over here. So there we go. You have this really cool like bounce animation. Now we can also head over here to this transitions tab. Now this is also for sale on my website. You can apply this really cool light flash transition. So if we select it, if we apply it onto the frame, onto the actual like Polaroid compound clip, we select it, let's just delete the beginning or the end, and let's just trim it to something like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 frames, and now you have a little bit of a flash transition. So if I play it right here, and as you can see, you have this really cool like flash, and this Polaroid kind of just like pops up. And now if I head over here to the time list, the actual like finished product, as you can see, I just repeated the exact same thing that I did for this one, just kind of stacked it on top of each other. As you can see, that's why you have, you can create even more Polaroid flashes. So there you go. I just basically, I just kept repeating those steps that I did for that one. I just kept duplicating it and add, you can do two, three, four, five, however many you want. Now this last effect is this really cool like paper collage effect. So what you want to do is head over here to the titles and generators, and you want to go back to the creator bundle and you see you have these really cool paper overlays. So we drag it onto this clip right here and we can go ahead and just simply trim 
on this actual like title. Now you may think to yourself, well I only get one paper, what's what you know what's kind of so special about that? But if you actually select on this, head over to here, you, you see you actually have a total of 11 different ones. So let's say, let's do, unfortunately it really is not a great way to like, kind of like see the preview, but so you, you kind of have to kind of like randomly select them. So in this case, let's do like paper at five, and then as you can see, see the paper up just changes. So you have a total of five different uh, ones instead of just, obviously you can see, you don't just have one option, you have a total of 11. So if you head over here to the media tab, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of like use a photo, that you, or, or select a photo that you wanna use. So let's say you want to like this screenshot right here. What you want to do is you want to drag the photo underneath the title layer and simply trim the photo like this. Now what you want to do is you want to take this title overlay and then you want to duplicate it by holding down the option key. Now this is a little complicated, but what you want to do is you want to make sure you're selected on this one first, head over here, and what you want to do is go to the blend mode and change the blend mode to stencil alpha. Now let's go ahead and just disable the top one just so you can see what's happening. So as you can see, see this this photo is in this actual like uh, like um, kind of like paper rip overlay. Now as you can see, we can take actually adjust the scale and the adjust the position to kind of get it. So let's say that's kind of that's kind of basically how we want it. Now we can select on these two layers and then just click on Option G to create a compound clip and do like um, just rip. So we'll do we'll, this first one just create on rip. Select you know oh obviously you can name whatever you want whatever whatever you, however you want to keep things organized. Now we're gonna select on this one and then we want to change this blend mode over to screen. So the, so actually but before we do that let's go ahead and re-enable it. So re-enable it. And as you can see, actually, let's just kind of like, so you can see before and after, let's undo this. So make sure, again, make sure the title layer is actually enabled. And as you can see, go back to the blend mode and then select on screen. And there you go. Now you have this really cool paper rip border. Now select both of them again and click on option G. And now we can do rip and then, you know, name whatever you want. So like with paper and now you can move it all as one layer so there we go now it's all into one layer so you could actually select this compound clip and as you can see you could adjust the scale you could adjust the position and you see how it's all like kind of like as one singular layer now as you see you can't exactly you you, you can't you want to make sure so in this case let's go ahead and just like we want to scale this in just so we don't see any of the edges so let's just go ahead and just undo all that and kind of show you to create that really cool animation so what we do is we'll select on this and let's go forward like one two three maybe like four frames and click on B. Now what you can do is you want to select on this this one here and let's go ahead and let's like scale this up and move the position something like that. And now you have this really cool like stop motion animation. So if I go into the beginning of the clip as you can see you have this like really cool like stop motion animation. So you can see kind of like it starts scaled in and then goes back out. And you could do you can you kind of cut the clip a whole bunch of different times and kind of so you can see right here you can create this really cool like stop motion animation. So there you go. That's just like the very basic idea of how to create the effect and just as simple as that. And if I go back over to the actual finished product, as you can see I just kind of like repeated those steps and kind of just kept duplicating them. And you know you can do again as you could do like you know 10 paper overlays, but that's just like the basic ideas you can see it and then go ahead and kind of like place it on top to create like a nice transition so again that's just the basic idea how to do it as you can see in this finished product now just keep repeating those steps and you can create this really cool effect and that's how you create some really cool music video effects in Final Cut Pro with the magnetic mask as well as some really cool presets that are for sale on my website winkinsmedia.com the link is down in the description below it's a great way to support the channel so go ahead and check it out and see if there are any presets that you like and if you enjoy these and if you enjoy this video or enjoy these types of videos make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.